All right, couldn't find a video on YouTube, so here's how to change the front window on one of these fourth gen Ram trucks. We're taking the factory window out and putting this uh, smoke glass with 5% tint on it. They're factory tinted window. As you can see on the bottom where it'll be in the door. And uh, this is how you do it. Get my cameraman here. Tools you need is some masking tape. This is a, I don't know, T25 or so, a pick and a five millimeter screw. These panels come off from the top. Make sure you don't bust those clips off. This little panel here comes off from the top. Oh, and you'll also need a regular Phillips screwdriver here. One screw out, put it on the floor, go around with your Torx, there's six of these around the door panel. Just back them out like that, Just pop them out. Three. Four. Two along the bottom. This should be the same whether it's a Sport, the Laramie, whatever. So you got the six off, you got the one there. Panel lifts up and comes towards you. Oh, take this off. Unplug the wire clip here. Take this thing off. The button panel you're gonna push up from the front. It comes out. A little clip in the back. There will be one more. Where is it? Right here. Panel off. Put her down. This little access panel here. Got four five mil screws. One, two, three, four. Speaker off. Unplug it. All right. Now you're gonna put your button panel back on. And you're going to bring your window down until you can see the plastic clips, or up in this case, until you can access both plastic clips. All right. To release the window, inside you're going to push right here, in, you want to push it, there's two different colors of white. So you want the darker one, you're going to push in while you lift the window up top, like this, and then there's on this side, there's two. So push it in comes up out of the track like that. Grab the top. Go over to this side and do the same thing. Push one and two. The window's gonna come up about here. Go down on a 45 degree angle. Sometimes it's easier to do this from both sides.
These go back in the holes on the new window. And come back here. Take a piece of masking tape and just double layer it over this metal edge. Sometimes they're rough from the factory. Those windows have fresh tint film on them, so I don't want to scratch them. A nice double layer like that. Grab your window. Gasket can be kind of a pain in the ass. One side down. And you want to go down and get that front corner in the truck. Hey, Rob, come on this side. You can get your front corner into the track, get your back corner into the track, and then you're down past where it's catching. I don't know why this side's binding on me now. the track and then you just kind of got to force it straight like this and now it's in its track up and down I'm gonna drop it down so that those things come back in see these are the clips you were pushing ahead right here there's two of them make sure they're both coming down into the white clip and bada bing there you go new windows in the door put everything back together Unclip your button, close your access hatch, speaker back in, sweep on and we want to find our door panel this is probably the wire for the ambient lighting this one goes in the, the little one goes in the top hole the big one goes in the bottom hole line up your door lock pin oh here so the panel when it comes up has these hooks on it this is how it holds onto the door I figure I should probably show that so we're gonna go and now we can put it back on just make sure all your hooks line up and then when you got it in the right spot It'll just slide down all your holes line up there you go panels on go along and push all your little push pins back into those holes
snaps back down. This one's got a little wire plug in it. I'll snap back in there. One Phillips screw. This panel, bottom first and then the top. And wherever that little access panel went. Oh, this one. There you go. There's installed the blackest window I've ever tinted. That's aftermarket smoked windows and it's 5% Avery Sigma Pro to match the rest of his hot rod. Now we'll go clean him up and he's ready to go.